Hey everyone, I'm Steve from GamersNexus.net and we're here still at the AMD suite or booth at CES 2016 looking at the new Razer Blade stealth laptop with its external GPU enclosure and that's sort of the big deal here. So first of all, all this CES 2016 coverage is brought to you by IY Power's Revolt 2 small form factor gaming PC. Getting back to the laptop, the big thing here is the external enclosure. We've seen this before with the Silverstone, I believe it was called the SGO2 a couple of years ago now and that was just a case. That was pretty early in the days of external GPU. Now we have things like the Alienware setup that's, that was shown last year. It's been out for a while. And the thing with the Alienware setup is it uses a proprietary connector, so you really have to use it with their laptop. With the way this is set up, the Razer Stealth Blade plus the external enclosure as we've looked at here today, the enclosure is actually hot swappable. So that's the big news. You can just unplug or connect the GPU externally as needed and then disconnect it when you're ready to go so there's no shutdown required as has been required with some other external displays and that is done very similarly to the way that an external hard drive or USB device would be connected and disconnected just using the Windows interface. What we know about the specs offhand is that this is using the Thunderbolt 3.0 interface which is actually a 40 gigabit per second interface, the equivalent of about a PCIe X4 or so slot and just from talking to AMD we haven't personally or internally validated this ourselves, but we'll do so in the future. From speaking with AMD, the external enclosure at the X4 equivalent PCIe laning performs about 6% slower than a by 16 setup. So it's really not a big hit considering the portability, but obviously the big deal here is always price when you're looking at is this sort of setup actually worth it versus building more portable computers, and I don't know the price of the external enclosure just yet for the GPUs. I know the laptop started $1,000 for the Razer Blade Stealth unit specifically, but you should be able to just plug the enclosure into anything that's Thunderbolt 3.0 enabled and run with it from there. So the, dis the display system is running an R9 Nano right now. The laptop is on an i7-6500 with 8 gigabytes of RAM. It's a 0.52 inch thickness, so basically an ultrabook, even though Intel no longer calls it that. And that's all we know for this right now. But check the link in the description below for more information. Hit the previous AMD video that we just did on the Polaris GPU architecture versus the GTX 950. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.